Hey there hackers, welcome back to the second video of the Mernstack chat application tutorial. Uh, we'll start where we left last time. So, and guys, please subscribe to the channel to get notified about future updates in this playlist. So let's jump to it. So what we'll be doing is we'll be creating some routes for login and, and login and registration and we'll mm, test the APIs using register you may use postman for yourself so let's begin so first we'll create a routes file user.js because it mod mutates the user so let's get the router first on router equal to require express dot router it's a function remember it guys it's a function so module dot exports equal to router so now what we need to do is router dot get or oh, not get router dot post slash login so in the handlers file you may have noticed there is a function catch errors and we'll be adding this to the router so let's import it first const cat we need to destructure it since it's exported as an object so cat errors equal to require what is it control not controllers as handlers dot slash error handlers okay so let's create the controller for user so new file user controller let's say yes okay so let's get the controller so user controller equal to require uh -huh. controllers user controller so so what we're going to do is we need to use this catch errors and we'll create a function in the controller called dot login similarly we'll create a register endpoint and register okay so now that we have this setup we need to include the routes in the app.js so just above the error handlers you need to bring in the routes so app.use require no dot slash routes user and that will register the routes for you so since we have created these two functions uh, where did it go so this login and register function in the user controller we need to create it in the user controller so exports dot uh, login equal to so this catch errors ex expects a async function so make sure you make write async here and the rest is same as normal or just controller function so this and this <coughs> so let's begin with register first then we'll do the login so let's get what we need so what we need for registration let's take the user model so we'll need a name email and a password so name email and password from request.body so destructure it into their own names and you need to test the email so make sure uh, const email regex equal to the gmail.com or at the yahoo.com or at the red hotmail.com or at the red live.com and it should end with this any of this so if it doesn't end with any of this we are getting going to get an error so uh, so the major fu main function of this catch error is we can throw errors and it will catch it and send it to the response so if email regex dot test 
email if this test fails we'll try an error uh, email is not supported from your domain okay so now that we have done that so if what else can we do and uh, we don't need to do anything this check the length of the password so if password dot length is less than uh, is greater than five it's fine it's a minimum of six characters okay so it's greater than five so less than six if it is so we'll throw an error mm, password must be at least six characters long so that's it so now you need to get the use user model so to, to get the user model we'll use mongoose and guys never import directly from the models folder since you have already imported them in the server js yes. <clears throat> you can directly model it so get mongoose and get the user and it will work so we'll do it like this user equal to new user what we need we need name email and password so this is ES6 syntax, you can use this one as well. But since they are the same, we can skip that. Now, what you need to do is you need to await the user the save function. So if you just pass the password like this, it will be unencrypted. So to encrypt it, we need to add a package called npm install js. That's uh, 256. I think that's what it's called. So let's import it. SAR 256 equal to require JSR 256. So in the env file, we'll create a sort to mix with the password. Alt equal to type anything, guys. It'll work. Trust me. And that's it. So we need to get the salt. So, so the password will be SAR256. Uh, what will be the message? Message will be password plus process.env.salt. And that's it guys. And it should work. Easy. So after you have saved it, you need to send the response back. So response to session message user registered successfully. So you can even stick in the user's email there, user's name there, like this. Now what is it? Name. Yeah. So now that we have the register endpoint done, let's work with the login. So since we'll be using JWT, so in on login, we need to create a JWT token. So let's do that. So what will we do? Mm, <clears throat> we'll get what the email and password from requested body. That's the first thing. We'll just find a user with that user and password. So first let's find the user const user equal to await user dot find by find and you need to pass the email email is just the same so, and password will be exactly like this and that's it so if find one will work I guess so if user is not defined you can throw in an error uh, user email and password 
did not match and if not we need to create a token you understand why token is right so i will not explain about jwt in detail we'll just create the jwt token so npm install jwt then uh, i use this jwt then but you can use the jwt json web token package as well because this provides me a promise to work with and promises are very handy when working with async functions so let's create a token equal to um, let's get the module first uh, what's this jwt equal to required jwt then so jwt dot sign what do we need we need a payload so the payload will contain the user id uh, id and will it contain else nothing else and we need a secret so let's create a secret so secret equal to mm -hmm. So process dot env dot secret. So that's the token. Rest dot session will send the message as user logged in successfully, and will pass in the token as well. So I think this should work. <coughs> so let's go and test it. So since we have added app produce i'll add a prefix to this slash user so now if i call slash user slash register or slash user slash login it should work so let's try it let's get the register up and running so method oh i haven't started the server <coughs> you see no errors please please okay so method is called post url is Slash slash no too much secure protocol for localhost so localhost 8000 slash register no it's user slash register so in the headers you need to have the content type so you can use application JSON or form URL or encoded or form URL encoded anything will work so we'll send the name no. and we'll send the email onkit at the xyz.com and password we'll send onkit1 send wow how did it work we are, i thought we added the email validation let's see mm, so if is this because of this i don't know let's see okay so one more thing in the login section we forgot to do is we need to just do this step again because if a user is already issued with the same email we should not be registering it again so let's find a user mm, user check so if use user check or you can call it user exists more semantic in that way so user with same email already exists so we don't need the password sorry about that we don't need the password so i think we're good to go so email is not supported so let's try with gmail.com sent and we have registered the user let's try registering again user with same already so that's it let's check it in the mongodb compass Let's try by logging it in the meanwhile. So let's do login. 
and delete it. Oh, I didn't pass the email. Let's pass email. I think it's a login. Okay, we have a error, I think so. Oh, I forgot the uh, wait. This this is a sync function. So let's try again, and we get the token. So if I type Ankit one two, it should not log in. Yeah. So that's it, guys, for this video. Let's see the database as well. Okay, connect. Uh, in the next video, we'll be doing um, maybe authorization and we'll create APIs to create a chat room. Yeah, that's what we'll be doing. So let's see. Yeah, this was inserted by mistake. Let's delete it. Okay, so yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, please subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks.